All right, we're getting awfully close. We have our main function, we have our app. The last thing we need is our home widget and we should have a valid Flutter app that we can boot up. So it's not happy with us right now because we are missing that home widget. Our emulator is extremely unhappy with me, at least. Mine went ahead and crashed because it couldn't figure out what I was doing. But we can fix that. We're gonna come down below the app class and we're gonna create another class, which we will call home. And this, just like above, is going to extend stateless widget. And just like above, we need a build method. That's why we're getting an error there. So I'm going to do my override. And I'm going to return a widget. And I'm going to build, I'm going to pass it a build context called context. Open up some curly braces and I need to return something in here. That's what this blue squiggly is about. And I am going to return a text widget. So go with me here. The uh, we'll, we'll talk more about the text widget in a future section, but the text widget does what you might expect it to do, which is to return text on a screen. And it intakes, among other, other things, a string. So we will give it hello world and that is our valid home class so we can come up here to home and our app and now feed it this home class we created down here and we can now boot up the application so i'm going to go right click on main.dart i'm going to click start debugging i'll see things start to whirl here in my debug console And isn't that just the prettiest app you've ever seen? So it is ugly, but it is a minimum Flutter application. And we have some more work to do, which is to learn some presentation widgets that we can start to put on the screen that will look more like an app. So that's what we're going to do in the next unit. We're going to start to dive into the basic presentation units, put them on the screen, and learn more about them.